Hi everyone, I'm Tyler Friesen from a uh, small farm near Sardo, Manitoba. The, uh, I've worked at Mark Hutlet Seeds now since about the summer of 2017. And over the last year and a half, Mark's been uh, kind enough to offer me more of an agronomy role that, uh, that I'm trying to get up to speed on. Ben and Karis have been great for, for helping me with any questions that I've had about crop scouting. On that note, today we're in a sunflower field near Zoda and we're, we're checking for downy mildew. And downy mildew is a, uh, is a wind, soil or seed borne fungus that can affect the crop at, at many different stages. The fungus can live in the soils for up to five to 10 years, waiting for that next wet year to, to activate. So if you have a high percentage that's getting a little dicey, you're gonna, want to, uh, you're gonna want to remember that moving forward with some of your sunflower rotations. Um, with that said, these sunflowers that are, about the, are entering the R1 stage, with the R1 stage, you're gonna wanna start to look for some of, your, some of those pests and because uh, insects right now are, are starting to become more prevalent. This crop definitely noticing some, some moths and beetles. So we're gonna want to, uh, we're gonna want to take a look at the threshold for that and, uh, and make some more informed decisions. In, uh, in soybean fields on this wetter year, we've been noticing uh, some soybean IDC again. We've seen it a bit in, a, in recent history. Uh, soybean IDC, for those of you who are, un who are unfamiliar with it, is uh, iron deficiency chlorosis, um, which is essentially just the plant's not quite getting enough iron because the root system hasn't, hasn't gone deep enough down to get it yet. Um, and, it, and it gives it this, uh, this lighter yellow color as it's coming out of the ground. This field that we're in near, uh, near Gruntal, Manitoba has recovered nicely. Um, it gets to that stage where the roots get past and, and uh, starts, starts snagging that iron. As corn in our area starts to hit its rapid growth stage, uh, we're, we're noticing the fields just absolutely taking off and it's, it's getting really fun to check out these crops. This field in particular is where we did our plot tour on Wednesday. For those of you who didn't make it, um, we, this field was hit by hail earlier in the year. There's some breakage to some of those earlier leaves, which will cause a little bit more exposure to Goss's wilt just because of the physical, uh, the, the edges being exposed of those breakages. But uh, it's, it's taken off and it's, it's doing really well. This variety in particular is our P7389 Acre Max, and it's the first time we're seeing it in grower plots in this area. We're really excited about this variety because it's got the uh, the low the low days to maturity of 73 and and comparable to our 74.55. However, it's it's also got the the BT protection, and we're seeing a really good Goss's wilt rating, which is hard to get out of these earlier maturity corns. Um, so. We're excited to see how it yields and uh, excited to have it as, as a part of our arsenal. Um, but for the, so for those of you who came to the tour on Wednesday, thanks for coming out. We appreciate uh, all the support and have a great weekend.